Hello, I'm Brian Carter, application specialist with Avid. I'm really excited to be able to give you a look at the new clip gain feature in Pro Tools version 10. Now this feature has long been requested by the post-production community, but it's equally as powerful for anyone doing post or music production. Now the term clip is new to Pro Tools. What we used to call a region is now a clip. So we now have audio clips, and MIDI clips, and video clips, but clip gain can only be applied to audio files. Essential division. You're basing your charges on that. I've got a witness. You're gonna need way more than that. Well, I guess we'll see, won't we? Some of the dialogue levels are not as even as they could be. So to even out those volume levels, many editors would use the Audio Suite Gain plugin. Clip Gain improves on this process by allowing a much faster way to adjust the clip's volume. So the first thing that we want to do is go to the View menu, select Clip. Select Clip Gain Info. This turns on the Clip Gain volume display on the lower left hand side of an audio clip. So now you have a volume readout that at a glance can provide info on how much clip gain has been applied. You also have a fader icon. So when you click on it, the clip gain volume fader opens for this audio clip and you can quickly raise or lower the clip's volume. Notice how the waveform adjusts to help give you some visual feedback. As you look at multiple clips, the waveforms can help give you an idea of the relative volumes of the clips before or after the clip that you're currently working on. If you hold the command key, this will allow you to fine tune your adjustments to the clip volume fader all the way to a tenth of a dB. So now I can quickly smooth out the dialogue levels where needed, and I'll hear the volume changes happening real time. Go through with this. Your story doesn't add up. I told you what I know. Witness says she saw you. Park your car, walk around the back of the house. I heard a scream. I looked around. I didn't see anyone. So I, I can use I, simple keyboard shortcuts to edit this track up. Then we can use a brand new key command. Shift plus control and the up or down arrows will adjust the volume of a selected clip at predetermined increments that you can configure in preferences. Let's turn on another new clip view. So go to the view menu and this time select clip gain line. This provides a visible line in the center of a clip that can be used to adjust the clip's gain. So now when using the smart tool, this can really speed up the process of adjusting a clip's volume gain. With the smart tool, I can place the cursor over a clip and it gives me a tool that can easily grab the clip gain line and adjust it. Now I can also dynamically adjust clip gain. Holding the command key turns the smart tool into the grabber tool. So I can click and add breakpoints, create volume ramps, or simply fine tune volume changes. And of course, I can also use the pencil tool and draw in clip gain information. Now I can trim an audio clip and later if I choose to, I can trim it out again and the clip gain is restored. If you select multiple clips, you can change their clip gain together as well as bypass clip gain for all selected clips. Now by right clicking on a clip, you'll find some new options. For instance, I can now easily render the clip gain directly back into the clip. Pro Tools HD software allows you to convert clip gain information into Pro Tools volume automation or volume automation into clip gain. Now this really gives you a lot of flexibility in how you can use the new clip gain functionality. Clip gain is all pre-mixer, pre-fader, and is applied before any plugin processing. And also, clip gain can be exported via AAF with Pro Tools version 10. And clip volume created in Media Composer can be imported into Pro Tools. You're facing your charges on that. I've got a witness. Now I'm only touching the surface of what clip gain can do. For more information, go to www.avid.com.